We're down at the end of this pet. Now I got one rabbit snare right here. Oh, he was here. He must have went around. Oh, look. Look at the rabbit track, buddy. He went around. Snare's here. And he went around him. Well, he knows what we got to do. We got to put some uh, sticks and branches there. They'll stop him from going around and, and kind of try to convince him to go this way. Go right in. Break the mouse again. I'm gonna put a barrier here, that's all. Just like a barrier there like that. Nothing fancy. Go right in here like that. Like that. Well, we want we want the rabbit to come through this place. This should work. Yeah. Well, rabbit tracks here again today. And look at this. Got a rabbit here. And the other day, uh, William was here when I put a few branches here just to stop the rabbit from going around. Just so, uh, uh, try to direct him this way a little more. And we got him. And hopefully there's another one here. Uh, well, anyway, I say it's going to be rabbit on the menu tomorrow for supper. You know, with the school and and stuff to be doing on the weekends and sometimes bad weather, you know, uh, you don't get a whole lot of chances. I don't get a whole lot of chances to get the little feller with that rabbit. This snare's twisted up, love, and they spit you and got a kink in. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put a new snare back here this time. Uh, you know, usually with a kink, sometimes it'll bust kind of easy like that. But if you don't kink, you know, you can use this uh, wire over and over again. But uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I can't wait to get the little fella out, you know, uh, Parmigan hunting with that savage rascal. He's going to have a, you know, go somewhere where there's a nice few partridges and, oh, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait. Sometimes when I got a little bit of wire like that, sometimes I just, I just wind it on a, on a limb there, there, and I'm going to use that wire later on just to build the whole stick in place or something. So it always hangs up near uh, sites where I catch rabbits. Well, guys. I got a rabbit here all skinned and gutted. I'm going to show you how I butcher a rabbit and uh, if I'm going to fry the rabbit or bake it or make soup, I butcher in the same way all the time. I just cook on this side of the pelvic bone, down line, down line on the other side like that, and then I just push back and you'll see the joint of the rabbit there. And just cut around that joint there. Yeah, that was a little right there and so same thing and just um, and that's how the pelvic bone cut down around and just buckle the leg back and we'll pop the we'll pop in there a joint and you just cut around the, the leg right there okay and up right here this is the front leg so you just grab the front leg uh, and we stop on it and see shoulder blade now I cut towards myself, you hoist it up and go this way and cut away from yourself. And so we got the four legs removed. If you want to, you could uh, remove the head. I just push it down on the neck a bit and start kind of hauling the bit. As you push down on the knife, haul on the head and uh, the neck is not very strong on a rabbit. And right here is the rib cage. Uh, we call this the tender box. If we're baking rabbit, this is what we'll put our stuffing in or dressing. Some people call it uh, bread basket. Uh, some more people call it the Johnny Cap. Go by different names, but uh, yeah, this is the, the rib cage of the rabbit. And just usually leaves like a rib or two on the, the backbone piece, and then just cut here a little bit and then push out and kind of pops another joint. Push down through and. Now it is the backbone, usually it kind of halves it up here roughly. So I'll just rub the knife line there in that side, across on the back like that. Grab, push, and we'll snap at a joint like that. Put, uh, push down on the knife and I'll piece on the other part on the one piece of the backbone. And it doesn't take very long. Now get the rabbit broke down into pieces. So as you can see, I break the rabbit down into uh, eight pieces uh, for just normal cooking. 
Yeah, one of my favorite parts, the rabbit root gears the head. Well guys, I put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in the pan and then I fried it with a little bit of salt pork for a bit. And now I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt beef. We hear it around the head. Hind leg of the rabbit. The other hind leg. Backbone. The other piece of backbone that's where the pelvic area. Front leg. Front leg. And the tender back. Now, I'm just going to season with some uh, salt and pepper. Well, I almost forgot about the hurt in the kidneys. And uh, I'll wait till it's almost cooked before I uh, add the liver. Oh boy, you know what? This smells so good already. to uh, add the liver. I added a little bit of water just now. I wanted a bit of liquid there because now I'm going to add some dough boys. I got four dough boys here made. And uh, there's only myself home for dinner today. So I'm just going to have some of this and whatever I don't eat, I'm going to finish off for supper. Now, all right, that's 10 minutes uh, on the dough boy so far. And the steam coming up. Oh my, that smells so good. And leave the lid on, don't hoist the lid until they're done. And uh, if you want to know how to make these dough boys, I'll put a link in the description and I'll also have a, a quick link at the end of the video that you can click on and go read through that video. Uh, I showed how to make the dough boys when I was baking a goose one time. So, if you want to know how to make these, follow the link. And uh, I tell you, give them a try. You won't be disappointed. Well, 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 look at that. Now I'm just going to uh, just take up a bit, have a bit for my dinner, and then uh, I'll eat the rest for supper. And uh, get back one piece, I guess. Or uh, no, hind leg. And the little fella, he wanted spaghetti for supper, so now I'm going to gram up uh, a bit of moose meat. I got to get out, and I got a lot of picking up around the door now because the snow is coming down in bucket pools here right now, and uh, I don't want too much stuff to get buried over. Well, just look at that hind leg of a rabbit, some liver, kidney. And dough boy, a little bit of salt beef, and a little bit of that juice from the pot, and uh, oh my god, it looks so good. You don't cut it dough boy, you kind of gotta just tear it apart like that, man. Just tear it apart. Just rub some of that juice on there. Oh. I made smaller dough boys a day. Smaller than normal, but. So good. He's not a piece of that liver too. And throwing in a little bit of salt beef really adds flavor. Yeah, 
of our super good. Did the leg meat? Mmm. Now, of course, go to head. Still hot. The tongue. Mmm. Mm, the cheek muscles really good too. I took the eyeball soup, but that fat in behind the eye in there, that that is really good. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. Sometimes, you know, in soup or if you bake them a bit longer, and that, like, some of this will come off a bit easier.